Mesdames et messieurs, garçons et filles, jokers of all ages, welcome to a short edition of the worst fantasy show. I am your host, the fantasy joker, Jack Lusne. You know I had to jump on to talk about my Pittsburgh Steelers. We were stroking the furry wall, and we might still be stroking that furry wall because Justin Fields has been traded. Uh, to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So the Chicago Bears have unloaded Justin Fields for very little, it seems like. Uh, being reported by Adam Schefter, uh, the Bears are trading Justin Fields for a 2025 six-round pick that goes to a fourth-round pick, depending on play time. Uh, so that's a phenomenal deal. It's not even in this year's draft. It's next year's draft. Like, honestly, who cares? Uh, and the worst thing that happens based on compensation is we give up a fourth round pick for potentially an actual future starting quarterback. And I'm already wildly curious to see how this is going to play out because the cast of characters that you have now brought into uh, Pittsburgh, when you're talking about Arthur Smith, the new offensive coordinator how he is going to mesh with Russell Wilson, who already dropped his promo. Uh, you know, hey, Steelers, just signed. Here we go. That's his new catchphrase. And yet the Steelers said, ah, ah we might not be going anywhere, Monsieur Wilson. Uh, we have saw, we went and traded for Justin Fields. And it's crazy because this is so unlike the Pittsburgh Steelers and how they've always operated fundamentally as an organization for as long as I've been a fan. I lamented over and over and over when we did not draft Lamar Jackson. We had the opportunity. The noise was there. Uh, there were even reports at that time of, you know, Tomlin saying we need to kind of update and change the offense and move towards perhaps a more athletic version of the quarterback and as if he was hinting at Lamar Jackson for whatever reason, whatever the voices that were uh, behind the scenes, they ended up passing. They took a safety. Uh, I think it was Armonte Edwards who was, you know, a fine, he's an average uh, to above average starter, but as a safety in the NFL, he, unless you're the next Troy Polamalu, you weren't beating uh, obviously, you know, how good Lamar Jackson's been as a quarterback, now multiple-time MVP. Uh, so I think, yeah, looking back, we would correct that. And so now is this the correction going forward? Is this the move that ultimately cements Mike Tomlin's legacy, maybe revamps Arthur Smith's legacy? I think potentially now what you've created is a situation where – you know, just uh, Justin Fields and Russell Wilson are going to compete for the job. Russell Wilson, obviously, being much older and being a veteran. Uh, and I think, I believe he's signed, uh, I, I don't know what the terms are of his deal or, you know, how much of that carries over and what the actual terms are with the Denver Broncos and how much they're paying. But I think ultimately the Steelers can get out of it after one year. So perhaps this sets up a situation now where, You'll have them compete through the offseason, preseason. It'll be one of those storylines that'll get beat to death. Uh, you know, Russell Wilson versus Justin Fields. Definitely, uh, you know, and we'll see. Is Russell Wilson really washed? Uh, is Arthur Smith really that chaotic that he's going to prefer, uh, I guess, what you could call almost a more traditional version of a quarterback in Russell Wilson or just veteran leadership or whatever, whatever. But as a Steelers fan, I'm happy. I'm happy because they didn't give up a ton of draft capital. We have an extremely athletic young quarterback that potentially could be the future of our franchise. It, you know, the way I look at it is we get a free look at Justin Fields now in our system for at least, you know, a couple years because again, this goes through this season and the next. So if he is our starter, great. We just got our starter for our fourth round pick. And if he's not, then we'll be able to move on in the future. But it didn't seem like the Pittsburgh Steelers were lining up in any way, shape, or form to draft any of the quarterbacks in this class. 
if you were to tell me Justin Fields was a rookie in this class right now, I would literally have him right there. Uh, I think I would have him ranked third right behind Caleb Williams and potentially Jaden Daniels. Uh, but him and Jaden Daniels are similar players. So if you were telling me the Steelers were drafting Jaden Daniels, I would be extremely happy. So again, as a Steelers fan, uh, just reacting to the news on a sleepy Saturday uh, evening where I was just literally uh, about to hang out and play some video games, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic uh, just as a Steelers fan. Like I said, natural reactions. I'm sure that my opinion might change uh, when I've had to hear 100 stories from 100 beat writers come uh, preseason regular season. I personally will be rooting for Justin Fields. I do think uh, he is an extremely competent, um, sorry, an extremely electric athlete, and I think he can be a very competent quarterback. Uh, and I think, you know, Mike Tomlin and potentially Arthur Smith too, you know, Arthur Smith does come from a running offense. Uh, again, with that power offense, Kind of wishing they would have kept Deontay Johnson at this point, but it seems like they'll probably draft some wide receivers. Steelers are generally good for that. So, again, I I feel very much like uh, the meme of the girl where it's like, that's me right now. I'm, you know, again, generally happy uh, as a Steelers fan. Uh, I would say tentatively uh you know, nervously excited. Thanks so much for watching. And hey, if you guys really want to help support the show, feel free to super kick that subscribe button, share around. And most importantly, please guys send in some questions. You can send questions for this show, Wildcard Wednesdays, and the Worst Wrestling Podcast. You can send them all to my Twitter, at Jack Lusne, uh, TikTok, Facebook also, or you can just hit me up, the Fantasy Joker 420 at gmail.com, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.